to evade my crack team of security and sneak into my VIP bag. It's kind, it's Victor from Hard Five. Yeah. 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 So, welcome on then to, uh, to Album Chart Show. You've got a brand new album out, obviously, Stars of CCTV was massive. Uh, you knew one once upon a time in the West. Is it different? Is it brilliant? Should we buy it immediately when it's out? Yes, yes, and yes. Okay, wicked. So we need to know. No, it's definitely like. I mean, it's still very much a hard fire record, but it's, it's kind of moved on, you know, it's like, it's a bit, got a much bigger kind of sounding record. Um, and I think it's just, I think, you know, I just urge everyone to listen to it. We're really, really proud of it. I think it's amazing. But the album of 2007 and 2008, album of a decade. Forever. Yeah. Um, what are the sort of tracks on there that really excite you? I mean, um, Suburban Nights, by the way, a massive fan of. Sounds a bit like hard fight at the fireworks is feel like, oh, oh, like that. Well, that's, that's funny you should say that because that's nothing <laughs> no. at all. Um, to do with it, I thought not. All, all, the, all the tracks are. Uh, they're all fantastic. I mean, I'm not trying to like, we don't want to do like three records ago, like, they're singles, let's put that old rubbish for the rest of the album and record one off. You know, every track could be a single, we think, we believe it anyway. And we treat it, we approach every song as if it's like, you know, we want to make it the best thing possible, you know. And are you excited about playing it all live? Do you get worried about, you do bass, don't you, Kai? You're yeah. worried about forgetting certain bits or. Well, apparently I'm the best bass player in Britain, according to one tab. Do you hear that? Right? <laughs> <laughs> all hail, Kai. Who said well, yeah. that, then? Your mum, that doesn't count. That's it, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, of course, you always, um, I don't know, you can't get everything perfect all the time. I mean, yeah, it's your bum note, but it's all good. That's a rock and roll bum note, and thank God. <laughs> we do a lot of them. <laughs> if you carry on, nobody really notices what's going on, do they? Uh, you kind of like, if you, sometimes you just miss make a mistake and you try and just sort of like, you know, but it's there, and it starts playing with your mind. So then you do more. So you have to learn to control the fear. And right. what do you do when you get off stage? I just sort of rewind afterwards. Do you just have a few drinks? Do you sort of strip naked and wrestle? Um, Sorry, that's no, weird. Maybe we, <laughs> no, we should try that. <laughs> I mean, generally, just drinks Jen, seems to do the trick. Fine. Drinks and fighting. Now, the uh, lovely, the new, uh, the new uh, album, the artwork, which I've mysteriously not seen, has caused a right old hoo-ha because there's not actually any artwork on the new CD, is there? Uh, Who, whose idea with that? What's going we, on? We with just it? kind of like, we. We really agonised about the artwork, you know, we, we, our, the first album was like the, the sleeve was the album of the, year, the sleeve of the year, you know, and we wanted to do something really great for this one. And you had the usual record company come in going, right, you've got to have a picture of the band in the front because it sells records. Oh, right, and look, here's, here's, we've mocked this up, this picture of you getting out of a helicopter. Oh, my God. What are you talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's like, you know, we don't, you need to suddenly look at all your contemporaries and they're all doing that because it's easy, you know. They, the record companies go on, artwork's just a tiny picture on a computer now, no one, no one cares, but we do care. You know, and we wanted to do something that made everyone go, hang on a minute, what's all this about? What's going on? You know, and to all those people who moan about it, all I'd say is, do you want your bands to say something? Do you want your bands to kind of like care about stuff and, and like try and be different and, and make statements? Or do you want your bands to be just trot out the same old cliche? You've got to have some risk in there. The risk factor is important you know, to us as well. Everyone's going to say, you know, say, oh, have you cut off the album, Steve? Well, of course we haven't. You're telling me that went the ball, some old boring stuff won't be out there next week and the week after. But, you know, something had to be done. I think you're brilliant, you guys. I love it. You always want to go like, yeah. I mean, you make one go, yeah, and like high five everyone. It's brilliant. Let's all high five. Woo, let's all high five. Come on, woo, 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 woo. Just, just us there. I'm like, oh, <laughs> thanks. Leave yes. me hanging, why don't you? Um, now, you once got told that you look like um, somebody who works in IT by a bit of a, a, a smart presenter type who yeah. thought it was sort of dissing you. And you took exception to that. And I love that story because you kind of think, well, Nothing wrong with being in someone who works yeah, in IT. Or my, I mean, look, look, my mates work in either IT or shops or offices or factories. Does that kind of snobbery wind you up? Yeah, well, it's like, you know, I, the way I look at it is that, you know, I'd rather look like someone who works in IT than someone who's on the sub bench from Millwall in the 1970s, yeah. which is what most of the what he looked like. You know, my it's brother like, works in IT. He just goes in in whipped jeans and trainers and unshaven. Shaggy so hair, shaggy mind. See, I like that. And on, on that uh, bombshell, sorry, I was looking at my finished shaggy hair then. <laughs> Young man. <laughs> uh, it's lovely chatting to you. It's hard fight. <laughs>